Hey, good afternoon. It's Todd from Gavel Tech again. Um, we're going to be discussing Google Webmaster Tools today. Um, much like Google Analytics, Google Webmaster Tools allows you to get information real time from your site um, as it relates to how Google views your website in its indexes. So we're actually going to take a break right now, go over to my computer. I'm going to teach you how to install the code. Uh, much like analytics, it requires a piece of code to go into the back end of your site. And then we're going to come back and discuss some of the benefits. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Hey guys, it's uh, Todd again. We're going to continue with our tutorial as we discuss uh, how to install the Google Webmaster Tools um, code into your site in order to begin utilizing the, the suite of applications it offers. So the first thing we're going to do is, is sign in with our Google account. Okay, And we can see here that with this account, I've set it up just for this tutorial and we haven't actually added a site yet. So we're going to go ahead and add one. And we want to manage www.gaveltech.com Continue. So then it gives you a bunch of options. You can add a DNS record to your domain's configuration. Okay, that would be on your server side. You can add a meta tag to your site's homepage. You can upload an HTML file to your server. Or you can link to your Google Analytics account. Um, in this case, we're just going to add a meta tag to our site. It gives me the code here. Okay, and it also says show me an example. And you can see here, um, as discussed previously in our Google Analytics uh, tutorial, you can see there's the head, <clears throat> which we know is invisible from the end user, and there's the code that we need to put in there. So we're going to go ahead and copy. We're going to <clears throat> create a HTML template to use just as an example, um, and I'll show you how to add this for some of the most more popular CMS uh, applications as well. Well, we can see there's our head. So we'll insert the code into our head. Okay, we just double check that it's there. All right, save it, upload it to your server. Okay, and in my case, <clears throat> I use Joomla to manage some of my websites, so I'm going to actually add the code to my Joomla site here. And I do that by going to Extensions, Template Manager clicking on the template and then editing the HTML and here's my head okay and I'll add the code in there okay you can see that I've got some other site verification for a different account I use so it may be interesting to see how Google handles it if we have two instances of the Google uh, Google um, webmaster tools code in the back end so we apply it head back here and verify. Okay, great. So we can see some of the information that it gives us immediately, um, some of the impressions and some of the clicks we've gotten. We can also see some crawl errors that we have, and we can see our keyword relevance. We can also submit a sitemap. Um, so now we've installed the code, we know it's working. Um, now I'm going to continue and go to the board and show you uh, some of the reasons that you'll want to use Google Analytics. So thank you very much, and we'll see you in a second. Hey guys, it's Todd again. Um, I'm going to continue by showing you how to install Google Webmaster Tools into the uh, WordPress blog. WordPress is a very popular uh, blogging software that's also uh, really robust as a CMS. If any lawyers are out there and they're looking for sort of a a quick and easy way to put up a very effective site. WordPress is a, is a, great, uh, is a great solution. Um, first thing we do is go through the process of adding the page, which we did previously, so you should know how to do it. And we're back at our options as far as verification is concerned. In this case, we're not going to do the meta tag. We're going to upload an HTML file to my server. So what we do is we download it. Okay. And then we go to our FTP which I've already opened up to the site and you can see that I'm in the root directory of my WordPress blog. You, you'll know you're there because you see files like index.php uh, etc. Okay. I am going to upload the file All right, and then I'm going to verify. Done, done, and done. We've now uh, installed our Google Webmaster code into our WordPress blog and begin um, using the functionality. Now keep in mind when you do submit a new site there's probably going to be a week maybe even two where Google's out there crawling and getting data available for you but after that initial crawl you should have 
pretty up-to-date data uh, as you access the site. So we're going to go back to the board and discuss some of the benefits. Until then, see you later. Hey guys, it's Todd. We're just going to finish up our tutorial discussing some of the benefits of uh, Google Webmaster Tools. Previously, you would have seen us installing um, the code in a, a bunch of different uh, types of, of sites. So we've got WordPress, Joomla, and just your, your vanilla HTML site. Um, now, I want to kind of bring your attention to a couple things that are really important, especially when it comes to SEO. And those are crawl errors. So those are errors that the search engines see um, as they're going through your site. Um, things like, you know, it may bring your attention to what's called a 302, which is a temporary redirect. We, nest, we don't really like to use those. We like to use the 301, so you'd want to change that. Or title tags that are too long. Or descriptions that are too long. So by using Google Webmaster Tools, you get a really good idea of how Google views your website one of the biggest benefits of that is you're able to adjust your site so that it's, it's streamlined for what Google feels is um, an optimized site, uh, therefore increasing your rankings. So by logging into your Google Webmaster Tools, going through all the issues that they see and remedying them, you're then going to become a lot more visible and a lot more tasty to the animal that is Google. Um, that's really all we have. Uh, if you have any questions, specific questions, Go ahead and call us at 561-899-0507. You can reach our support at extension 1002. Um, you can also email us directly, info at gaveltech.com, or visit our website, www.gaveltech.com. Thanks, and have a great day.